Uh, hello, this is a short note about one of the first uh, exercises in our online uh, radar course that actually uses the simulator. There, there may be earlier ones, but uh, this is in one of the first quizzes. It's uh, quiz 106, and it's, I'm going to just illustrate the first two of this type, uh, 11 and 12. Uh, question 11 and 12 where we're measuring um, the range and bearing to a target, a radar target, using the uh, electronic bearing line and variable range markers. And um, so we do have, and I just want to point out, if you go to the uh, our video index, which is outlined several places, I'll put the link well, that link is in our course uh, multiple places. But you see, if you go to radar, then you see we have all these videos, uh, all these videos here on radar, introduction to the use of the tool and so forth. So be sure to go back and look over those. And now we're back to quiz, uh, quiz 106, and let's look at this one. And so what it tells us to do uh, for questions 11 through 15, we're going to load scenario uh, Plymouth Sound, UK, and then after it loads, we want to immediately stop the vessel. So we want to drive it to zero speed right away, and uh, we just and it tells you click minus five knots several times, and it'll stop. And we keep the same heading. And uh, for each of the problems, then you adjust the range as needed. You use uh, EBL and VRM, and then uh, here's what we want. Uh, uh, oh, print out the chartlet. Well, I'll show you that too. Or we can get the chartlet if you want to and uh, take a look at that. In this display, you get kind of a view of the chartlet as well. But And then we want to know what is the range to the nearest end of the breakwater protecting Plymouth Sound. And there's a multiple choice. And what is the true bearing to the center of the nearest edge of that breakwater? Okay, so that's our exercises we want to do. And uh, let me pull that aside. Here's the now. Here's the default way that this uh, simulator come turns on. It's a default scenario. So you would come down here to the scenarios, and we've got to drop down here or pop up. It turns out and find out um, uh, which one do we want here? Plymouth Sound UK. So that's the one we want. Plymouth Sound UK. It's in here now. Uh, this one now there's discussion some of these have a little discussion here which we rely on for other problems this one does not have a discussion so we just load it but then once it's loaded now we see that over here now I've already missed the point it wants me to stop the vessel right away what's it moving see it's moving the default it starts out at 4.5 knots and so we want to stop it immediately. That's going to be easy to do in a minute here. Uh, but you see, here's the scan of what it's looking at at this range. The range is way out here. Here is this breakwater right in here. OK, so scan off. Now, oops, scan off. Now, let's do this again I'm and do it right. So here's the speed. Here's the controls of the vessel. I can turn it right or left 10 degrees. You see where this vessel's moving. Let me just show you. This is an early. See, you see that's the vessel's just turning right. And, you know, you like that. Okay. And so forth. And then here's where you change the speed. Plus or minus five knots or one knot. So let me, again, do what they say. What the exercise says is I load the scenario like that and immediately just push that a couple times and where speed is zero. Okay. So now we're set up ready to go. And we're ready to do this exercise. And now we can also switch over for higher resolution and do it on, on this one. But just to get started, let's, let's look over here. And you see here's the head. We're in a heads up mode. Heads up mode. So this is the vessel center line, the heading line right here. The, the vessel is going this direction. This is a chart. is north up on the chart. So and this heading is 49. And this is true. These headings marked on the radar simulator are always true. And so here's the range. Now, this is not a very, a very good range. So what we would want to do is to come down on the range uh, some like this. Let's see, can I go that low? Yeah, 0.5. Now, see, that head, there's that headland. Let's go back a bit so you get oriented here. You see this. Remember, I'm looking this way, so you have to imagine you're looking out the window straight ahead this way and off on the right 
uh, you see this headland and that's this right here. So that's that. If you want to see it in the scan, you see, um, you can see it bang right there, you know, right there, something like that. Okay, so this is the target of what we're after right here, this point. Now, it said print out the chartlet if you want to, so you can go in here and then go down to uh, Plymouth, UK, and then you can look at this chartlet, and then you can, um, you can print this chartlet out if you want to, if that helps. This particular exercise, I'm not sure that helps much, but it's, it's there, you can look at it. We just want to measure the range and bearing. Okay, and we're five, and it looks like we can, oh, that's 0.75. Let's go see if we can get closer. 0.5, see, that's pretty good. Can I go closer? No. This range now, you see, look over here. My range is too small, so I'm not, I'm not reaching out far enough with the radar range to actually see the thing. So I have to go up one. Now you see I'm, this thing is in view over here. So I've just increased the range of the radar. And that looks like the one we're going to have to use right here at 0.5. That's the best we've got. Now if I want to, I can go back over here to this view, which is going to give me higher resolution. It looks more like the radar. Okay, so what we're going to do is we want to know the distance between here and here. And the range rings are 0.5. 0.5. No, that's not right. Oh, the full range is 0.5. The range rings are 0 0.0, 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. I can tell you the answer is about 0 0.35, 0 0.36, something like that, just by looking at the range rings. This is 0.3, that's 0.4. But we can do that more precisely. You turn on the variable range marker, and then you make it, oops, um, and you make it bigger. It's about there. You see, there's the variable range marker, this one right here, and it's sitting there. I've got 0 0.36. Uh, 0 0.36 is what I've got. So that would be my answer to that one. Now, I can uh, shut the variable range mark. Now I want to know the bearing to it. And the bearing, we would just turn on the EBL. And, well, okay, so it, it looks like, you see what happens is I did a practice before I started the video, and, so I, that, and the EBL is, is going to sit there where it was when you shut it off. You see, if, if it's over here and I shut it off, um, it's gone, then I turn it back on, I'll turn it back on, and it's over here. So that's the way that okay. That's the way that works. So I come over here and it asks me for to the center of the end of that, and so that's that bearing something like right there. Now that is 30 R. So keep in mind, my vessel is headed in direction 49, 49 degrees, true, and this bearing here is 30 degrees to the right of me. So the actual answer to the question is, uh, what is the true bearing to that? It would be 30 plus, uh, for, you know, or 49, my heading, plus 30 is 79. 79, 079 true. So that would be the answer to that. And so that's to get you started on this quiz one, and I'll uh, end that there. And this will show up, I'll put this video, then will be another one that will be in the list of video index.